Hi, I'm Matt Richards, and I'm the children's pastor at Crossroads. Um, and I wanted to tell you about something exciting that we have that we think is going to um, change the outlook of our children's ministry and the uh, spiritual life of your kids. Um, each week, as you know, our kids gather in Crossroads Kids for Worship and to hear, the part, uh, hear part of the Big God story. Then we do something that you may not even know about. We have a special time each week that we call our worship response time. It happens uh, right after our kids have heard God's truth from the Bible, or, or what we call the big God story. Um, and here's what we do. We ask our kids to stop, to, to, to not talk to anybody else, and to consider what this truth that we had for the day could mean in their life and, and how the Holy Spirit is talking to them personally. It's a time where we allow our kids to step out to flex their faith muscles, to be on their own, and to commune with God on a personal level, just between them and God. Up until now, we've only had a few worship response stations, like the prayer and praise walls in the back of the room. Or maybe we've had some other special features like taping um, hearts on the cross when we talked about David's, uh, David's heart for God. And um, so, but right now, Right now, we are constructing multiple permanent worship stations that we're going to hang on the wall that will give kids the opportunity to worship God corporately as a group, but also individually. These stations will help affirm how the Holy Spirit is speaking to our kids, affirm who they are in Christ, and develop their awareness that they too are part of the big God story. One of my favorite things to do throughout the week is to go look at those prayer walls and those praise walls and, uh, and look and see how the prayers might be progressing. And for example, think about if a child's aunt has been diagnosed with, with um, cancer. That child might, might write on the prayer wall, please pray for my aunt because she has cancer. Then a few weeks or, or even months down the road, we see the same child write something very, very similar, but an update. And she's, he or she says, please pray for my aunt because God is healing her. And, and, then, and then the cool thing will be, as we, as we do this, that we'll see a year or so later that the same child is coming up and saying, God is healer. And this is in the praise part. God is healer. He healed my aunt from cancer. You see, these stations will have... Um, we'll have our kids um, accepting who they are in Christ, but it'll also help them acknowledge that God is alive and working in their lives because they've been brave and they've used these response stations to flex their faith muscles and respond to what God is calling them to. My team is excited to unveil these stations to you in the next few weeks. So look over these pictures um, below because they're, they're a little sample of what's to come and what's going to be in our children's area later this month. Um, then, as we, as, we, as we put them, we start incorporating them, look and see how kids are responding to God. It might surprise you, but I don't want you to just let it stop there. I want you to use the time before and after services, however you see fit, to use the re these response stations for yourself or for your entire family. Maybe you have a special, maybe you get here 10, 15 minutes early just so you can use one of the response stations together as a family and have a prayer, a family prayer service before the Sunday morning even kicks off. We welcome you to do that. We welcome you and your kids to use these response stations. We're creating them for you. Have a good week and enjoy the rest. Look over the rest of the email and see. Um, all the other th things that are going on in Crossroads Kids. Bye-bye.